All right, the eyes have it. Welcome to the rather low-key National Convention of the Libertarian Party, which is taking on new significance. That is because it will have a presidential candidate on the ballot this year in most states. With polls showing a very tight race between Democrat Joe Biden and Republican Donald Trump, and an independent, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., beginning to poll in some swing states above 10 percent, a small number of votes for the Libertarian candidate could determine whether it is Biden or Trump who gets a second term. None of the Libertarian Party's presidential hopefuls are household names. It will be up to about 1,000 delegates, including Collin County, Texas Libertarian Party Chairman Nathan Polsky, to decide who will go on this year's national ballot. It's really kind of a big tent party. Um, at the end of the day, you've got people that are on the right, you've got people that are on the left, but one thing that we all agree on is that the state has too much control, and we want to roll back the level of power that the state has, give it back to the people. In an unprecedented move, the presumptive nominee of another party is poised to upstage the libertarian presidential hopefuls at their own convention. Trump, who is to take center stage here on Saturday night. Trump is wading into unfamiliar political territory merely to gain attention, says construction worker James St. John, a libertarian delegate from Virginia. It's a chance for him to speak and get his word out, and he can speak to a bunch of other people who probably would not normally listen to what he has to say. That's the main reason he's doing it. Addressing the National Rifle Association last week, Trump was pragmatic about courting the favor of the Libertarian Party. Largely, they have so much of what we have. You know, they're also people of common sense, generally speaking. They have a couple of things that are a little different, but we have to join with them because they get their 3% every year, no matter who's running. And we have to get that 3% because we can't take a chance on Joe Biden winning. It is unlikely Trump can capture more than a sliver of that 3%, predicts a delegate from Vermont, Anne LePeltier. Do I think he's going to get the libertarian vote? No. Uh, may some libertarians vote for him? Surely, yes. But will I be one of them? Also, no. President Biden was also invited by the libertarians to address their convention, but he did not accept the offer. Steve Herman, VOA News at the Libertarian Party National Convention in Washington.